Uh, Paul Robinson here from uh, WorkwareCanada.com, and I'm just going to quickly show you another couple of applications for the uh, BCB wire saw that we uh, we sell. Uh, obviously, I've shown you one where you can uh, cut, obviously using the uh, uh, finger rings, and another way is to make uh, a bow saw. And uh, all you have to do is find a uh, find a branch, um, you know, about a half inch, uh, three quarter inch diameter. Uh, let's have a little bit of greening it because obviously, you know, it's got to be um, a little bit flexible. Uh, so you don't want anything too dry. Um, so basically all you have to do is uh, um, pick a uh, spot a couple of inches from the end and we're just going to put a, a fairly steep uh, notch into there and that's going to hold the, uh, the ring for the wire saw. So um, we just cut this in here like this. Like I say, you want a fairly steep uh, angle here because it's got to be able to cut the uh, the wire saw, uh, the, uh, so it's got to be able to uh, grip onto the rings, those finger rings there of the wire saw. So once you've cut one, you just want to measure then, so you put the ring in the notch, you take this over, and you probably want to go, ooh, you know, almost an inch and a half further on, just so that you've got a, a nice bow. So again, you just want to cut a notch in here, you just want to make sure that it's the same Same side as the, uh, the other notch, so the the saw is going to sit correctly. And I'm just going to cut that in here again, fairly steep angle. And I'm using the HK9 for this, and um, just chew that out there. So we put the one ring through here and uh, pull this up. Put the other one on top, and then we're just going to seat one of the rings in its notch like this, and then we're just going to bend the, the stick down and uh, to accept the other ring. So you have to bear in mind that it takes a little bit of pressure here because you want a bit of tension on this. Also it's popped out there, very really useful. Let's try again from this way. So there, you can see that we've made up uh, a uh, basic bow and this is useful if you're uh, you know you want to change hand positions you know you're cutting a lot of firewood you know you can stress your hand um, so having a bow saw is quite useful um, so you can cut uh, you know reasonable size uh, sticks and, uh, and, and twigs with it and um, obviously it's not it doesn't give you the same kind of pressure on the material as when you're pulling uh, because obviously you're pushing um, but it does, like I say, relieve that stress on your hand if you're if you're going to do a lot of work with uh, with one of these wire saws. So it does give you a you know a bit of uh, variety, and uh, you don't have to put too much pressure down. You know, to get one of these. Cut. As I say, it's a very aggressive uh, cutting wire on these. Now the other option with these is, of course, to um, again if you're going to be using it a lot. Get through this, there we are. Um, is to um, put loops on these rings so um, you know they can go around your wrists and you can use it that way as well. So it just gives you a couple of options um, and uh, for using the uh, BCB uh, uh, wire saw.